What's going on YouTube and welcome to another GTA 5 online video. So guys in this video we're comparing the BR8 with the DR1. So the Benefactor BR8 on the right to the D-Class DR1 on the left. You guys probably don't recognize them because I tuned them and they're not the same color on the site as on the site anymore. But anyway, I'm comparing these two vehicles. They were just released today uh, with the new DLC, with the new summer DLC. If you haven't seen my video about the summer DLC yet, make sure to check it out. Link will be in the description so you guys know all the new things in the DLC. So the first thing that I actually tested out was just a simple drag race at the airfields. Just a very simple test, both side to side, as you guys can see, BR8 on the left, DR1 on the right. And I just checked with the lights on the ground, so if you're wondering how I actually checked where the finish was, it's just something that I checked myself. And the BR8 was actually the winner, so the finish was actually the line of green lights, if you're wondering. Then I did it again, but then I actually used the boost. Now, the moment when I used the boost was actually in the beginning, so it would be easier for me to actually do it at the same time with both vehicles. I know maybe the beginning so when you're just starting um, and using the boost isn't maybe the best moment so it's maybe better to actually use it when you're already at top speed but again the br8 actually won so this means that on a straight track if you're starting from zero that the br8 is actually better then i did a little bit of a speed test now on ps4 we don't have the option to actually check your speed so i just did it by looking at the dashboard and this is the br8 if, by the way if you can't recognize it so i first did it for the br8 and for the dr1 and the BR8 actually had a max speed around 113 miles per hour, if you couldn't read it because it was quite small. So 113 miles per hour. Then I did it again for the BR8, so the Benefactor BR8. But this time I used the boost when it was around the top speed. Now, uh, when you use the boost, it's kind of blurry, so you can't really read it out. It's also, uh, it goes up very fast and it goes down very slow. But I think it almost hit 160 if you do the boost. So 160 with the boost, 113 without it. The 113 is, of course, more important because that's just the regular speed. Then I did it with the D-Class DR1. So first, without the boost and then with the boost, just so the same way. Uh, if you guys, by the way, like my tuning, I can also uh, maybe post a video about both cars where I actually customize them and also give you guys a little bit of a review because right now I can't really give you a review, um, like a good review as I want because it's just out in the game for one day, so that's actually not a lot. So if you guys missed it, it was 109 for the D-Class DR1. So for the Benefactor PR8, the more expensive one, so the 3.4 mil one, it was 113 without the boost and for the dr1 it was 109 miles per hour here i used the boost around the same uh, speed so around like 105 i think i did for both vehicles and it also hit 160 so with the boost you could kind of say that it's the same speed the boost is of course not that important uh, in races you use it but the regular top speed in my opinion would be more important so then i actually went ahead and used both cars on the same race i did five laps of this race and i checked the fastest lap i don't know this is not like a legit comparison because it could be that in one race i drove better than the other but it still gives you an idea of how the vehicles actually drive how fast the vehicles actually are so i'm just going to show you guys my fastest lap so first we're doing it with the dr1 by the way if you guys saw it maybe when you look at the stats before you choose the vehicle um, the speed and the acceleration is actually the exact same for both vehicles the uh, one kind of thing that's actually different is just that the dr8 has better braking so the dr8 has like half a bar better braking than the dr1 so this was my best lap with the dr1 on this track i know i'm not the best driver but i'm driving both cars so it's actually an honest comparison still because i'm driving both the cars it's also the same track and yeah if i drive better with one car that actually means that the one car is easier to handle so what I've noticed was actually that the uh, BR8 was actually a lot better to handle. I could drive a lot better with the BR8. This was kind of what we were expecting that the BR8 would be better. My best time on this track with the uh, DR1 was actually 58 seconds. So this was my last lap. If you guys can beat it, go ahead. You can beat it. I don't care. Um, <laughs> you can be better than me. It's not a problem. But I just did it so you guys would see how big the difference in the race is. So 58 seconds for the DR1. Then I went ahead and did the same track with the DR8 and I'm just going to show you guys my best lap out of five. So I'm not going to show you guys the entire race because, I, because sometimes I also crash and I maybe hit the uh, sides and stuff like that. But I'm just going to show you guys my best lap and with the DR8 it was actually 54 seconds. So that means four seconds faster. This doesn't mean that it's always going to be four seconds faster because four seconds is a lot. 
but you could say that in general the BR8 will be a little bit better than the BR1. I've also noticed when I switch from BR1 to the BR8, the handling and also the braking is a lot better on the BR8 uh, than on the BR1. So the BR8 is definitely the one that I like more. Uh, from the looks, like the DR1 actually looks better if you tune it. The DR1 is, has also uh, also has more options and stuff like that. But um, if you look purely at the racing, if you look purely at the performance, then I would have to say that the BR8, so the Benefactor BR8 3.4 mil, uh, mil vehicle, is actually the better one. So four seconds difference uh, when I did it on a race. I know this is a lot. This is not a legit uh, number that I can give you guys. Like will always be four seconds faster but this was just when i did it so i actually played the track before as well so it's not that i did it the first time with the dr8 and then the second time with the br uh, dr1 and then the second time with the br8 it's just i tried it out before and then i just did the race um with both vehicles and i just compared to my best lap so guys that was pretty much it so in my opinion i think the br8 will be the better one i'm gonna compare it with the pr4 so the progen pr4 the um open wheel car that we already had in the game as well but that could take a while i'm also going to cover other things in dlc as well but i'm going to do that as well hope you guys enjoyed the video hope this was helpful so if you didn't get it yet the br8 the benefactor br8 the 3.4 mil car is the better option if you have to choose between the two open wheel cars that we have in this dlc hope this was helpful I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to join my Discord server again. Uh, its link is, will be in the description. Also, check out my other social media like Twitch and Twitter. You can follow me on there as well. Uh, if you have questions, if you have like uh, things that I maybe forgot to say, uh, feel free to leave a comment. I'm open to suggestions and open to like feedback and stuff like that. Just keep it nice and then I will answer as well. That was it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe. And peace out.